I think a lot of what beating pressure or physicality is as a ball handler is just finding simple ways to alleviate it for a split second and then using the defender's pressure against them. So for example, when we back up, we get a little bit of breathing room from that overzealous defender who's now probably moving towards us. So this gives us a window to work with. So this is how we train that. Pressure. Okay. Pressure okay. Pressure. Look, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple tools to deal with the pressure and then we'll apply it. Make it live as always. We'll go kind of dummy defense. So you guys will go on partners. Let's say Z's playing defense on me. Alright. I just want, yeah, you're in front. Alright. Again, you're kind of dummy defense here. I'm taking different length steps back each time. All right, so I'll be here, I'm taking a step back and then transitioning it off of that. Defensively, I'm just, if you're doing it, I'm just kind of letting him make a move on me, recovering, and then we're running it back. So every time you're just kind of taking a step back and then working out of that. A little bit more back, so actually cover some ground. Let's say I'm really pressuring you and you got to retreat. Yes, all right, and you can mix it up each time. Yep, exactly. This is almost like we, what we did with the one, two, but you're taking a step back and then working out of that. So right now we're just getting a feel for this concept, getting a little window of space to work. A little bit more back, a little bit more separation back towards me. Yeah. Now Rick, think of like you have a magnet on him and as he steps back, you step towards him just to imitate that. Yeah, better. We'll work on that. You, got, you guys haven't gotten good at the dummy defense yet. Yeah, I'm a master at the fake defense. All right, now uh, we'll stay in the partners. Uh -huh. Let's say, Rick, you're going. Uh -huh. You're going without a ball for this one. And then we'll add back a ball and it'll feel even cleaner. You're taking two decent sized steps back. All right, and then I'm pointing off of that. Uh -huh. You got to find your way out kind of tight around my hip off of that. All right. All right, and then I'll, you'll actually, matter of fact, you'll come back this way, all right? Yep, and then I can even do this. All right, so then I'm just getting creative, trying to make him work in different ways out of this. That's a very good idea. So you could also do this. Let's say, let's say he doesn't say it right away, or he doesn't point, so I get back here, you can slow it down and then go. All right, so instead of just waiting here, you're back, you slow, and then you drop back into it. Yeah, it's almost like you, you're here, you raise up and then go. Yeah, it could be a little hop too. There we go. See on that one, instead of just kind of pausing here, you're slow and then back. All right, now we'll add in a ball. All the leader work now. All right, so if I have, I don't necessarily like this ball. Um, if I go right here, I'm back, and then I'm doing anything I want out of it. As a partner, you have to follow that. So I could be here, I could go, and then I'm into the next one, I could go. I'm just doing different things out of that back. You can play around with speed changes into it. Try to keep it simple though, somewhat simple. Now we're emphasizing creativity here and just getting them exposed to different options. So when we go live, they'll have more in their toolbox. So let's say, let's say Rick's defending me. Now it'll look more real. All right, I'm backing up and kind of turning as I go. And then out of that, you're gonna step either way. Don't make it crazy obvious. So I'll demonstrate for you. Let's say you're kind of protecting it here. I'm pressuring you. You create that space, that's what we've been building up to. You create that space, and then I'm gonna kinda give you a read. All right? Yep, exactly. And then you'll come back towards me. Try it again. Ah, come back, I didn't give you enough pressure. All right, let's try it. Oh, four times total. Now, we're making an actual competition. So, let's say you got the ball. Yep. All right, you're kind of turned towards me protecting it. Yep. You back up. I have to touch your chest. So that's an incentive for me to come towards you. You try to beat me. All right, all right so I'm here. Oh, and then I gotta try to cut you off. 
So now, that way I'm actually moving towards him and it's live, you try to get that stop. Nah, you gotta touch his chest, defensively, and then just try to beat him. Now time to compete out of this. And this is where I truly believe the athletes get the most bang for their buck. Lock that shit up. Run the Did you touch the chest though? Nah, it's oh. no! Yo. My bad. Hey, that's two buckets in one. Come on, man. All right, now we'll make it live. You guys should be very, very comfortable with this by now. If defense gets a steal, it's a point, all right? So they're really trying to get this steal right here, all right? I have to back up behind the, three, the NBA three-point line before I attack forward, all right? So if you get a steal here, it's a point. If you get a steal here, it's two points, all right? Off of that, you have three dribbles. So once you get from high school back behind NBA, you have three dribbles to get to the bucket and score. Try to get a steal there. Ah. Oh. Let them go, let them go. Yeah. Three, three, Luke. Fucking oh, European shit. Ah, <laughs> European shit. All right, start with the dribble. So just protect it a little bit first. Oh, oh yeah, we there. We there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No! There's some behind the desk. Yeah. I like. Oh yeah. Bro. Always good, calm. So make sure to follow me on Instagram at By Any Means Basketball, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the deal. Thanks for tuning in.